Halloween event? No, it wasn't the Halloween event. When the, the Fatchets. Slow, ain't ya? Someone in the chat was saying, Burza said on Twig, the reason the patch was so early was because of the Halloween event. Hey, dog dog. Um, this could be good. I don't know. Don't need this round one. Don't really need Terran over round one. Right, I have bricks in my deck. Last time the Halloween event was really cool. Is anyone remember the, the Halloween event from beta? That one was actually kind of sweet. It's like the only Gwent event that I remember. Back before they were just reward book things. What the fuck? And if I, insert a needle, Guess I don't mind putting that in the Artwood pool. Got a bunch of cheap avatars. Yeah, isn't that what the events have been, like ever since I'm coming? Blightmaker. Oh, hey. That's pretty good. I actually don't think that could have gone better. I think I drew the perfect card and hit the perfect card off Diplo. Kind of messed up. Opponent looks to be bounty. Nicely playing which hunter. Uh I don't have a dex command. The deck we're currently playing is just dealing with the Elder Blood snapshot. Trying to learn the good decks before the open this weekend. Would like to be at least a little prepared for casting. Hey, mid. Uh, I think it's just last stream until the weekend. I'm probably gonna be waking up pretty late tomorrow. And I'm also just kind of busy. I got a lot of stuff going on both tomorrow and the day after is afternoon. And then of course the weekend is the open. Some brawl at the end. Depends how I'm feeling. I don't know. I'm not going to make any promises. Probably not, but we'll see. He's horsing. I don't know. I guess I can just pass. I rolled to go torture. Oh, am I a devotion deck? I mean, I guess it's still probably good, but eh. It wastes the big O. Was inspired to tier one? Oh, I mean, it's the better deck. You just have a bunch of removal and a bunch of points. Usually the recipe for a good Gwent deck. about the wanderers. It turns out the best cards in the game are not the ones Reddit complained about on patch day. Surprise, surprise. Almost like this happens every time.
Not missing anything. I can't coo my Yoakim currently. Um, I probably want to be able to coo my Yoakim. I don't know, there's like kick the... You can take the Lydia? I can also just invert something and use the, the invert thing to coo. It'll probably be fine. Defeat them with hunger. Crush them with hunger. I got Menno. Yeah, and I have one unit in my deck. Time to keep the game running. Blink, blink. <laughs> I'm gonna invert you. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't necessarily want to play one of their cards, though. Can wait a little bit on this? Do I want to, though? Not especially. Do I enjoy a bit. It allows you to request the song One People by Marcus D. once per week. Devil seed! Cursed wench! I'll probably use Lear on like five cards or something. I don't want to give my opponent full control over it, but I do want to get my assimilates down. Got him. Kind of. So I don't want to draw that with Wanderers, so I'm not invoking that yet. Um. I don't want to put anything important in play. What is truth if not an illusion? Suffering in no boats, you'll be a count once I'm done with you. <laughs> when did the Pico thing start? I don't know. Caleb. Mm -hmm. Probably get down the Terra Nova. Maybe later too. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to play the Brothens. Yep. There's the Witchfinder. We have Veil. <laughs> yeah, there's no rush on the Oakim. I don't want to give him a bounty target. I might just go Brothens, Copy Executioner, then Leader. Yeah, I like that. And then just see what we get here. Garbage. Garbage. Not garbage. Garbage, garbage, kill your spender. Cool. Wait. Oh, it's not bounty yet. Right. Uh, almost kill your spender. I need one more coin. I got an executioner. I didn't apply a bounty. Can kill it next turn. last hand now. And it's not scary. I 
believe this game is over. damage. Wee. It's a short stream. How long are we talking? I don't know. I'll probably go for like at least three hours, three, four hours. We'll see. Anything against Rage. It doesn't kill the cultists. I don't think this does anything. Also, not playing Ria again. If you're playing Maddox, you want to play Ryogan. There's some secret synergy between Maddox and Ryogan. Region over TA. Yeah, the list's supposed to have Region over TA. I just once again forgot to change it. Gun cutters are cowards. It's not even about being a coward. They're just not optimistic enough. Like, even if Ryagon just stops your Matic from getting squirreled, Ryagon was worth it. Ryagon and a warrior's list would be extra thinning. If there is any other squirrel target in the deck, probably. The main reason to not do it in Warriors is your opponent might not respect it as much if your leader isn't literal Rage of the Sea. But like, if your leader is Rage of the Sea, you're kind of forcing them to respect it, right? the Kelly deck and now you're trying to fit Warriors on oh no um no, I'll just make me have the points I guess I could play like the torturer not gift him the long round, but I don't know how much I'm worried about a long round against the Matic deck. Oh, it's Getty. What? <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting that. Why? Just click the truffle. That 
went pretty good. Yeah, apparently. Feel like I keep the spores. He's playing Truffle Preacher. Spores is probably a real card. He is bleeding two down. Maybe I'm supposed to just invo the coral. I don't know. Invo coral doesn't feel great. I guess eh, it's kind of bad. No other wonders is coming out. Oh, it's not doing anything about it. Cool. So what, I can just Menu Coup? Play a long shit. I'm not doing any math. I assume this is more than enough points. Uh, is this better? One, two, three, four, versus two, yeah. Yeah, plenty of points. It's lazy Tears of Siren, so it triggers Assimilate. Be rude to the opponents. So I can't coup once again. Guess I just wait. I don't think I want to do this when my opponent doesn't have anything on the board. And again, I guess if their whole hand is reactive, I can't lose anyway. <laughs> okay. So does 
plus Kurt's heat wave. Cool. Hey, Elante. That's one of the big things Nilfgaard gained after cutting ball. Is you just don't have to worry about your big cards getting bled out. You're not forced to keep awkward ball hands. All your cards are just good. Oh, thanks, Lante. White Frost. So, uh, has anyone in chat checked out Inscription? The new, uh, Daniel Mullins game? I was very impressed. I finished it yesterday. My highest recommendation. If you like artsy indie games, then definitely check it out. Can I just pass here? Yeah, it's pretty short. I think I spent... I spent a lot of time just fucking around. Uh, the actual gameplay is probably like five to eight hours. And I'm sure there's some secret stuff that I haven't seen yet. Uh, inscription. Card game, uh, kinda. It's a lot of card games. I don't really want to spoil anything. I didn't realize what the tags were. Um. Yeah, like, I don't know what the best way to think about the game going into it is. But it was very good. I did not know what I was getting into when I uh, booted it the first time. It's atmospheric horror. Went was the only scary game? No, the real scary game is Genshin Impact. Most horrifying game I've ever, ever seen. Whenever you boot that game, you're concerned about the future of your bank account. Um, I think so. It's hard to say, right? Because I went into it blind and I really enjoyed it, but I don't know if my enjoyment would have been tainted had I not gone into it super blind. Um, so I got Wanderers coming out. 
really want to draw the Imlareth. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go through. Oh, sick. Probably gonna go through the rest of his catalog. I think I watched parts of a Pony Island playthrough like years ago, but I don't remember much about it. And I'd never even heard of the hex. Really? Didn't even do anything. tunnel. craziest thing about it is it doesn't even feel like that much of a small project. Like, if you look hard, they're obviously corners cut, but the game looks really cohesive. And there's an attention to detail that I wouldn't normally expect. tend to enjoy indie games more than AAA releases, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about it being a tumultuous place, but what am I doing here? Just coup this. Keep holding on to the Artois. was not cute. Exactly, played some. Oh, well, we still have card advantage. Sure, we're uh, drawing an informant and don't have an invocation for some reason, but that's fine. It's actually fine. This hand still just wins. Okay, well... It's cool, I guess. Um... Can make a monster special and try to eat the griffin. Darn. Doesn't work, right? 
What is this making? It's like a wild on Hound, right? Oh, this is his last card, Griffin. It's uh, just Chimera, right? And then I consume the thing on the back. Where's my bleeding effigy? <sighs> Actual cheating. I could put the Joachim into the frost. There's also only two points, right? Yeah, I don't know how much worse you into Meno into into what like Diplo would have ended up being. I guess I drew the Diplo. I didn't have to draw the Diplo. I could have fur carded after. I don't know. Wild on Hound count as a beast. I don't know if Wild on Hound is a beast. <laughs> Siren's only six when you have a beast, right? So it's still worse than the Chimera. Thought I knew lore? I do know lore. I don't know how CDPR puts tags on things. I don't think those two things are consistent with one another. Did I get bullied in this matchup? Yeah, look at that. Kaltolos is Iced Pet Dragon, and Kaltolos isn't even a Skellige card. Complete nonsense. Speaking of complete nonsense, I guess we'll play one of these and get a bunch of Swordmaster. There's so many Arctwads not bricked when my opponent inevitably plays no units in round 3. I'm worried about Unilus, I should have just copied Aileron. Extra one flying body. Oh, it's this deck. Okay. The other round one pain death deck. Um, what do I do about this one? 
I can stop him from renewing it. Guess I do that. Save Diplos for some laws. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, what now? I can play multiple cards. Bribery, this deck has no bribery. So this is 10, I would need another 8. Versus needing another, like, 12. Oh. Portrait. Benno goes 18. And then I need another 6. Like, 2 here. 3. Seven, eight. There we go. Tongue. Missing a bunch of cards. I would prefer to not be missing. So that will banish Emissary and Spores. Makes you want to push down too. Not going to, but I kind of want to. my golds. Rip. Yeah. So I need Sunset Wanderers to draw Yoakim. <laughs> if Wanderers draws Yoakim, I have all my golds. It is kind of funny. I'd prefer you didn't. I'm not gonna time it out, but I'd prefer you didn't use that type of language. Yoakim on top with Blightmaker and Hope Mage Assassins on the bottom. So it kind of just becomes a question of how much better than my opponent's deck do I think my deck is. <laughs> I mean, I'm at rank 1. You know what? Why not? Respect for the opponent's deck is overrated. Just dodge the Mage Assassin. I mean, the thing is, do I win even if I hit the Mage Assassin? Didn't spawn Guardian, because I didn't move a Mage to the top. Weapons 
snowdrop. That's fair. We can lead her next turn and try to hit it. Delay the Wanderer. Um, probably like crushing. I just expect the opponent to play Simloss early and then I can kill it. I drew the Yoakim, so I'm not even that worried about cooing the Simloss. I guess I should have just taken the Simloss. Taking Simloss with no similar units in play feels kind of bad, though. Okay, so that's going to be the Pit or an Incinerating. Just so much tech. Yeah. Yeah. I should put Jalist with Vanity and play some loss twice. Uh, theoretically. I know one of his cards is crushing, and then there's four unknowns. Probably play the Vigo next, and then we'll coup the Simlas. Is it Gezras coming? That gives us the fairway. Cause like I could be cheeky and go like minnow and try to coup the Gizras. It's like kinda slow. We'll just kill it with this somehow. Not an incredible start. They're on two and three. This plays a special, and then Vanadine plays a special. I just want to play two Vanadine specials. Trigger assimilate my front row. I know crushing is going off. 
It's one more damage to the Gezras, but two more to the Crushing. So I guess with Vanadine summoning things in the same row, maybe it's different? I don't know. He's dead. Orb. Orb assimilates pretty bonkers, huh? What's the plan against Kelly? I have an invo in the deck. There's an Ithral. It's probably just invo the Kelly. How do I get through the defender? Do I not get through the defender? I think they did, no. <laughs> I completely forgot about that, but yeah. That was supposed to be months ago, right? Isn't that back in like April or March? Just drill Pred Dive off of Diplo? Okay. What now? Usually I have to have a bronze. You just need to resurrect something so it knows what provision to bring back, right? Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. This might be the only time I've ever played an deck and felt bad versus Kelly. <laughs> Yikes. Is it a one day thing or like a week thing? Because this isn't like the homecoming launch date, right? It was like around this time, but I thought it was in like November. Or like the very end of this month. And if I insert a here, what then?
I mean, at least I can keep his Kelly bad, right? Or not. It counts like... It's broken in the tournament platform. But it's more the tournament platform being a piece of shit than anything they've ever done to me. My account, uh, my main account, count spectate in the tournament platform. It's not a huge deal. I just like have a alt that I'd use, but. It is annoying. Dash. No. Eh, I guess I could play Dash here. Now that we know his hand is Swallow, Swallow. The best. Tortoise cam. It's not showing up. Nithral, right? Oh, it could also just be she who knows. Or just a cave troll. Huh. Just set up pretty good cards. Bonet played their Heat Wave. They haven't played their Wrath yet. Eh. Oh. Uh, it does not look like Tortoise is there. Spying too. <laughs> Makes my coup quite a bit better. Man, poor Kelly. Why did they have to do anything this game? special from your opponent's faction. Like, Emissary is sort of a big card in the matchup. Brothens into Emissary, Vigo into Emissary. Not 
the Reaganless Rage of the Sea. Yeah, Yoakim Ku Yoakim leaves units behind. I don't know, maybe it is just answer Siri Dash and then go tall around the Kelly. Supposed to kick this. I don't know. This is my proactive. Lead us across wave crests. Lead us through storms. Please. Still no shin. Yeah. I don't think I'll remember to fix it. That's fine. I don't know how much more of this deck I'll be playing. What shenanigans I'm up to. There's not really any shenanigans this week. It's just learning the good decks. I want... I want spores. I'm gonna say I don't want spores. And then I guess I get rid of the Emissary. Just keep our cultist healthy. Opportunity to pass. I'm a little concerned about Defender Melusine later on. to go ranged. Yeah, I'll just build a boat. Oh, we are playing. It's a bit expensive. Dare not set sail without her blessing. It's every turn. Oh. Did not know how this card works. Blightmaker for no. I just don't want to play the Blightmaker this turn. I'd rather the Wanderer pass it. I 
Hey, everybody, this thanks for the host. Welcome, everybody. Hope your stream went well. I don't know. How bad do I need it? I'm just gonna go for the tempo. Fuck it. is half through. Kinda wanna just lead on that. Mana will joust. Then this can either draw the Melusine or I mean realistically it's gonna have to draw the Defender, right? I don't think I'm gonna have the option to invoke the Melusine. We'll see. Joust on half through is a combo. Oh, true. It's funny. Play the Vigo and then leader. Just get my assimilates down. Torture first. Oh, I have a torture in my hand. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll go torture and then we'll go Vigo. I don't know, I might like Ku Fakusia. Wait, it works with self eater? Ah, darn. before drawing? Not necessarily. If I just invo Fukusia, or I guess I'm invoing Melusine, then my order doesn't really matter. Pretty good. 
I'm gonna rush to play this thing. So what, I can kill the Hafru off so that it's not getting damaged by the storm. I can go... Menno Joust something. Just protect you. I guess you already have armor. I should have protected something else. Another game where we play our opponent's deck better than their deck can play itself. What are the Midgard dual faction cards? Uh, Courier, Electric. I don't know what the others are. Oh, Rico. Is there one more? No, there's three for each faction, right? Rico. You forgot Courier! Courier is way more playable than Rico. Santa has none of my round one cards. synergy with Reens, and it's still better to play Reens without Rico if you want to play Reens. Crazy. Rico is that bad. Rico is that bad. Rico makes your, what, 13 provision Reens into basically a 15 provision Reens, and uh, Reens looks pretty embarrassing at 15 provisions. It looks pretty embarrassing at 13 provisions, but... Might as well just play like tortoises and hope your opponent plays a seven. Mm. Don't have much use for a maxi, but I need not spend you kind of just want to play this. Pick up a light maker or dead man's tongue with that. Hey, listen here. Listen well. Nothing like some overseas plundering and sprite. <laughs> this seems like where we lose. I think it's worth trying to make up this points gap. Let's try to hold our card in the round 2 bleed. Lightmakers! Lightmakers! <laughs> it's over. <laughs> okay, yeah. know the top decks. Yeah, Siege NR is really good, Alumni NR is really good, Flurry Control slash Midrange is really good, Nilfgaard Assimilate's pretty good. 
Symbiosis is pretty good. Uh, I think it's just that. Actually, floating ones. I don't think the best in our deck plays floating mages. I mean, tournament's hard to predict. Conquest is... gives some weird incentives. If people are just playing, like, baseline good decks, that's what I would expect, yeah. But if anyone tries to go in and, like, target any of that, this is a complete different question. I'm not sure what the most targetable of those decks is. Probably Symbiosis, but... It's also probably the one that's most likely to get cut from good stuff lineups. Thanks for the host. Welcome, everybody. Hope your stream went well. I'm uh, suffering from a very depressing Nilfgaard hand at the moment. Just like Menno Diplo. Just in case. You dumb? I don't know what have you done. <laughs> Did you host a Gwent stream with your storybook brawl viewers? Yeah, I'm casting the open. That's why we're playing good decks. Try to hit his beer now. Yeah, the casters are myself, Seely, Shinmiri, and Flake. Get really played as Birna. And I managed to not give the coral spying in round one, I'm pretty sure. No, I guess not that it matters. Right, Artois the thing that I'm looking for. Should I just range this? Try to get the coup on it. I guess if I coup it, I won't have any cards in deck anyway. play this. I don't really want an emissary. Yeah. I'll wait one more turn. Their analysis team? No, they just have analysis for world masters.
This is kind of greedy. There's the Fukusia. Is to coup the Junab. It's probably not gonna work. Too late anyway. The issue here was we drew our cards in the wrong order, and these ended up on bottom. Not finding your thinning until round three is a, a classic Nilfgaardian dilemma. Pretty sure. 